everybody and welcome to Back to School Night for Concert Band. All right, my name is Katherine Parker. The best way to get a hold of me is through email. My email address is khparker at jeffcoschools.us. A little bit about me. I grew up in Southern California in sunny San Diego. I went to college in New York City at New York University. I have degrees in music performance and a master's in music education. I've been at Golden for nine years now, um, and I'm a mom to a beautiful one-year-old baby girl. Materials. What GHS is going to provide. Um, we will provide each student with a Sound Innovations warm-up book. The exact book is still TBD right now. Um, a music folder, sheet music for any group or ensemble playing we're going to be doing and an instrument if needed. For anything larger than a flute or clarinet this year, I'm arranging to have a working instrument both at home and at school, so they aren't you aren't having to transport things back and forth this year. If you do need an instrument from the school, so if you play anything other, larger than a flute or clarinet, please fill out the form located at bit.ly, that's B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash G-H-S instrument rental um, just so I can get an idea of numbers and I can start getting instruments to the repair shop um, so I can get things sent home as soon as possible. What you're going to need to provide. So this year you're going to need a three ring binder, plain black, either half inch or one inch, um, and plastic page protectors are optional. You're going to need an instrument um, and your instrument accessories. So mouthpiece, reeds, neck strap, cleaning equipment. Um, I'm going to have a very, very detailed list posted online on the website next week. I don't have the link to the website up right now because it is under major construction. I'm still not quite finished with that. So when that's up, that'll be an email that's sent out saying, hey, the new website's live, everything's up there. Um, one note uh, is percussion families. Percussionists are not uh, going to be allowed to use school mallets, so every percussionist needs to have their own set of mallets. What I do have at the school, of course, I will be kind of distributing amongst people, but there's not going to be, um, you know, a set of mallets on each instrument that the different kids are going to be picking up. Everybody will have their own. Um, and let's see, you will also need a music stand for home use. Very, very important. It can get really frustrating to try to prop your music up on strange things all the time. Um, so we're going to ask, or I'm going to ask that everybody has a stand at home. If you are not able to get one of those, please let me know. We do have a few spares at the school. Um, also this year, everybody needs to have a metronome and a tuner, not just your phone. Um, I suggest getting a metronome tuner combination. Korg makes one, it's the TM60. Um, and on Amazon that sells for around $25. Again, if your family is gonna have difficulties getting these, please just send me an email and we will arrange to have one for you. All right, grading. How, or what the areas are that you're gonna be graded on in this class. So classroom engagement, that is being present, being on time, participating in conversations, coming pre prepared to rehearsals with your materials and your music learned. Performances and rehearsals. Yes, performances are going to look very different this year. No matter what format they take, the show is going on. So we're going to run things tentatively for now um, and what format the concert takes will probably be solidified about two weeks out from each concert date. Um, I am anticipating some sort of a recorded performance that's done during the school day that's then put out, say, on a Friday night on the concert date. Um, but again, we're going to have to be flexible this year just to allow for all the new um, changes in group activities. Playing tests. So some sections of music will be assigned for formal playing tests, which will be recorded and graded on a rubric. Um, and then projects this year, we're going to be doing a number of project-based learning assignments. Um, a lot more on this is going to come later, but we have a lot of fun projects that are music related um, to kind of really bulk up the kind of music learning that can be done online. Platforms. It's time to put the play back into playing music. 
Um, all right, my main platform that I use is Google Classroom. So make sure we get logged into that classroom code uh, once school starts. The other two major platforms are going to be Soundtrap and Smart Music. One thing I do want to say about Smart Music is when assignments are done in Smart Music, I won't be taking the grade Smart Music gives. I'm only using Smart Music as a tool. I'm well aware that it has its limitations with its ability to grade, so if any students saw that and just had a panic attack, please don't. I won't use those grades. It's really just a tool to help you learn the music. Um, aside from that, we've got a lot of others. Um, some that I threw up there are Math Science Music, Virtual Piano Duet, Groove Pizza, Accordion, Chrome Music Lab, and then behind me, oh, I disappeared. Behind me, um, this is from the New York Phil. That's called Learning at Home, Learning Music at Home. What we are doing to keep your students safe. All right, so this has come out from a number of national organizations. Um, there's been a lot of research done about how we can keep students safe in the music classroom. So everything is going to be masked. Singers, actors, dancers are all wearing a mask. Instrumentalists are wearing a mask. We are still waiting for the final call on exactly how that looks when you guys need to be playing something with your mouth. Um, the last that I heard is a regular mask with a little cut in the, a little slit made in the middle of it so you can get your instrument in and out. Um, but again, I will have very firm details on that once I get exact word on how that should look. Um, I will of course have a mask myself and what we're asking, making sure when you are wearing a mask that you're wearing a good enough mask. Um, I hope I keep going the wrong way. Um, two layers are more or more of dense fabric is what we're looking for. Cotton has been proved to be really the best fabric that you want to go with. Um, distance, we are going to be six feet or more apart at all times. Timing, now this is a big one for band. Um, so if we are outside, Masks are still recommended, um, and we're still going to be using them. Um, we are going to play in 30-minute blocks with six-foot spacing. After 30 minutes, we're either going to relocate, because we are we have enough outdoor space we can do that, um, or not either, we are going to relocate to somewhere else outside, or then we can move inside at that point and play for another 30 minutes. Indoors, it's fairly similar. 30 minutes, um, but once we play in a space for 30 minutes indoors, we do have to vacate that space for an hour before it's going to be used again. Um, so it's likely that the indoor playing will be at the end of the class so that that space can then be left. Um, proper hygiene. We are going to have a long talk on making sure our instruments are sanitized every time we play. Um, I've got a sink in the back room and we're going to talk about that once class starts. And then, let's see, airflow and filtration, good ventilation. Um, we do have enough doors to have a good cross breeze in my classroom, which is really nice. Um, and then again, just being outside, we're going to try to perform um, practice outside as much as we can this year. If you have any additional questions, if there is anything that I did not cover, please feel free to email me. My email address is khparker at jeffcoschools.us. Thank you.